Disclaimer. This review features a collectible item and it's for adult collectors ages 13 and up only. It is not intended for children. So if you are age 13 or below, please stop watching this video now. Thank you. Lydia here and welcome back to a new action figure review on my channel so I know that you guys have been waiting for this this is another one from the Universal Monster series from NECA Toys and this is The Mummy so um, The Mummy movie came out in 1932 if I remember correctly and uh, this is the figure of The Mummy itself or actually the box of it because the figurine is uh, inside and this is the colored version because I'm not sure if already came out or there will be one that's coming out the you know the black and white version we get um, a black and white version and a colored version of these figurines as well the black and white version is of course a more accurate um, representation of the old movies but I like to go with the colored versions because uh, I don't it's just more appealing to me uh, personally but uh, you can choose whichever uh, you like and uh, this is the third uh, figurine in this series uh, and I already did a review of Frankenstein and the Wolfman hopefully new figures will uh, join this series as well because I honestly can't wait to collect all of them but for now, let's take a closer look at the box and after that I will unbox the figurine and uh, we'll see how cool he is and what he comes with. So here is the front of the box and as you can see it's really nice and colorful and I'm pretty sure this is like the one of the official like posters uh, of the movie uh, when it came out back in the days and I'm pretty sure this was also like hand painted by someone which is uh, really amazing work now we're here we have a sleeping mummy and it says it comes to life and on this side we have a uh, I guess I could call it a picture of a woman in front of like a um, a wall or a door I'm not sure what it is but of course we know that uh, back in the days we had to have a woman on the poster because that was just like a nice little catch to watch the movie as well or it says uh, Carl uh, Lemel Lem Lemlan I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I don't want to really butcher that name um, presents Karloff the uncanny in the mummy and over here we have a uh, list of the like actors and whatnot I'm not going to read all those names um, and it says a Universal Picture Ultimate Mummy Really nice. It's a nice little uh, collector box it Says the mummy the same thing and this is not a toy guys. This is ages 17 and up So it's not for children On this side it says the mummy and now we have the also the sleeping mummy But this time it's the picture of uh, the actual figurine says Universal Monsters, NECA and Real Toys. This is the back of the box. Again it says the mummy and we have different uh, promo pictures of the mummy figurine. Really cool. And some of the stuff that he comes with as well. The box is kind of shiny. Sorry about that. Over here it says includes three interchangeable heads, two pairs of hands, wrappings, chest and scroll. So nice little set of accessories and we have a angry mummy over here on the side. Now of course since this is a collector box it opens the front flap opens um, with a little piece of velcro and there is the mummy inside. Sorry about the glare guys as you can see it's a, a plastic like insert. We have the figurine and the two heads. 
and of course the two hands there is that little like chest I'm guessing the scroll is inside there we'll see if the I don't think the the figurine comes with a stand it did not say on the box but we'll see and on this side we have this really nice uh, big picture nice promo picture of the mummy itself so uh, that's about it for the box now let me just uh, unbox it and we'll see all the nice cool little details of this awesome figurine so I'll be right back and I'm back and as you can see I have unboxed my mummy figure over here and he does come with all the accessories that what that was mentioned on the back of the box now he can as you can see stand on his own but you have to play uh, around with it with uh, his feet a little bit to be able to make him hold uh, his body weight uh, but otherwise you can probably put him on a stand if you have a spare one now I also wanted to mention that this figure uh, seems really like simple when it when you look at it because it's just like almost just one uh, one uh, color um, color uh, scheme but it's uh, really just the fact that this is how it looks in the movie so you can't really like add anything uh, else to it because then it wouldn't be like um, true to the whole movie and uh, since it's this really like light brownish uh, color with a with little bit of grey and um, darker brown and just a teeny tiny bit of, uh, of gold paint uh, it makes me wonder just how different uh, the whole grayscale version is of this figure because honestly I, I don't think that's such a big difference like I mean it's it's not the same color of course but I don't think when you look at them you can see such a big difference uh, compared to like example for the Frankenstein figure where the the character actually had more color to it so just as interesting uh, thing I'm, I'm sure if you are a big fan of the black and white versions you you will get them uh, but I just wanted to mention that uh, there's not like a such a big difference between uh, the two uh, figures as uh, with the other ones that were uh, released before this one so uh, first off let's take a closer look at the accessories uh, that he comes with so I'm just going to move the figure, actually make him lay down because otherwise I'm pretty sure he will topple and fall. So first off we have this awesome, um, I'm not sure what to call it, a box, a chest, uh, a container that he comes with. And as you can see this one is also like this um, grayish, um, grayish brownish color. It looks more gray on, on camera than it is. And as you can see, it has gold uh, details on it, and that's the god Thoth on the side. So it's the the ibis, uh, ibis, ibis uh, god, and it has these little shiny, gold shiny um, stars on the sides. Now that's pretty interesting, if you ask me, because you know, uh, if it's it's a, a, a Egyptian uh, chest. If my camera would just there we go if it's a, a Egyptian chest you would expect more like hieroglyphs or something on the sides but I guess this is how it looks in the movie so um, yeah really interesting this is how the top looks now here we do have some uh, some well these aren't really like hieroglyphs it most looks more like uh, Kind of like a uh, Arab Arabic um, like writing or something. I don't know. It looks really interesting. I guess those were supposed to be hieroglyphs, but I'm not sure if I'm holding it right upside down or or uh, on the uh, like the right way. Uh, but yeah, so a uh, nice little chest. You can open it up, and inside you have this scroll that was kind of just thrown in there. Um, I was the one who actually. Uh, uh, made it like this to be able to scroll it up because otherwise it was just simply folded and thrown in there um, it's a simple piece of uh, brown paper and now here we do have like actual hieroglyphs as you can see 
Not sure if they mean anything or it's just, you know, the art. And a really nice artwork over here with uh, Anubis uh, taking someone to the other side. There's also Thoth and we have Horus over there as well. And this is how it looks up here. So it's a, a nice long uh, scroll. Yeah, you just have to uh, place a little bit more nicer in the in the chest and not how it originally was packaged. So yeah, that's the chest. Now he also comes with two pieces of these uh, mummy wraps, which are of course the same brownish grayish color as uh, the figure itself. Uh, they are not the same mold, as far as I can tell, no, they are different. And you can, you know, hang these on, on his arms or hands or uh, legs or wherever you wanted to. They are quite, a, as you can see, a, a flimsy, uh, rubbery uh, material. I don't think you need to worry about these breaking if you uh, don't, you know, just uh, rip them apart. Now, he of course comes with uh, two separate heads, so three with the one that he has on. The one that he has on is the, you will be able to see that uh, up close in just a bit, that's like the sleeping head, I guess. I could call it that from, I guess, when he is in his, um, in his uh, tomb and uh, sleeping. Now, this one is like, you can look at the details. This one is like uh, the awake mode, <laughs> as I like to call it, the morning uh, mode. He seems pretty uh, grumpy about it. And again, really a light brown color. And the uh, back of his head, I guess that could be hair, because it does look like it, is gray, as you can see. But take a closer look at the awesome uh, wrinkled uh, dried skin look I really like how his nose is kind of peeking out over there I'm not sure if that was supposed to be like the bone peeking out from uh, you know the skin uh, slowly rot away over there or, or it's something uh, like from, uh, from uh, peeking out from under the mummy wrap Although his face does not seem like it was wrapped up, so I'm guessing that's that's more like the missing skin on the nose. But yeah, really, really uh, nice. Really like the eyes as well. And the other head, this is the other head. This one is a more uh, angrier, so he's probably like grunting and groaning uh, and moaning. And <laughs> his mouth is open, as you can see, you can see the tongue inside there. Again, it is, this is kind of uh, like reminds me of uh, of the morning look, like he's yawning or something. But uh, of course, I'm just making fun. Um, he is uh, mad and out to get you, I guess. This is how it looks from this side. So I really like it how they managed to make his skin look uh, like dry, simply dried out and. Uh, you know, all mommy like. There you can see the eyes. The eyes are ca kind of have like a slight pinkish color to them, but it's really like faded. The tongue itself, it's not uh, pink. It's, it's like a dark brown. So yeah, those uh, are the two separate heads, and he also comes with uh, two separate uh, hands. Now, um, I was quite surprised when I opened it because this is ex exactly the same hand the one that he is wearing his uh, gold ring on so basically this is the right hand and for a second I thought that mine just came with uh, two uh, of the same hand so it like it's a error on mine but no I checked online and it was supposed to be like this honestly there is just almost like no difference between these two hands um, so this is how they look uh, the palm of the hands and this is how they look from the top 
and at first glance as you can see you can not uh, tell the difference I'm guessing it's the one of the fingers so from the side let me just there you go so this finger the pointing finger on this hand it's a bit more um, at like this angle and the other one is like this so um, not a huge difference honestly and I, I, I don't really um, see the point in including both of both of these hands uh, you could have just I don't know they could have just included another one of the of the left hand in a different position and it would have made more sense um, if you ask me but that's how it is so um, I don't know uh, what was in uh, Neka's mind over there but that's how it looks and there's a little paint error over here with the the ring as you can see in the gold paint but yeah otherwise the hands do look uh, really nice nicely sculpted and molded it's just that it, it for me doesn't really make any sense that they included a, uh, two uh, pieces of the right hand with uh, just such a slight um, difference but uh, that's that so those are all the accessories now let's take a closer look at the sleepy guy over uh, there in the back so here is a close-up of him let me just move the face a little bit closer so as you can see his uh, eyelids are closed so this is his uh, sleeping uh, face with the exact same uh, dry skin and nicely sculpted uh, details I really like it again I really like the that fact that the nose is like or uh, sticking out or it's the bone or, or whatever there it is um, not sure if you guys can see the the uh, color but again it's it's not grayscale it's it's like a really light brown like faded brown color um not sure how to describe it i hope you guys can see the the color uh, as well as you can and you can see that it's again it's all faded it's all gives you that dry um feeling that dry dryness um which is also like a bit like a dirty look because it's so old um, so worn over time I'm not sure how to describe it uh, guys but I hope you can see it on uh, camera and as you can see there's the where the wrapping stops so I, that's why I say that the the head wasn't uh, like fully uh, wrapped at all really nicely sculpted uh, mommy wraps with some holes over there as you can see and uh, at some places the wrapping is just uh, kind of peeling off kind of uh, coming apart there you can see a bunch of holes and uh, on the back as well really nicely sculpted how the wrappings are I'm pretty sure they took a big uh, caution and attention to the to the whole movie and how he looked in the movie with all these small little details really nicely made and again the hands are not wrapped as well because you can see where the um, kind of like the sleeve of if I we can say that the sleeve of the of the whole uh, mommy wrap stuff there and yes this is the left hand which is uh, so you only have this one mold of the left hand and here is a close up of the palm of the hand and the other hand that he has on so this is a more relaxed um, look that's a, a by the way the ring is a scarab which is pretty uh, like you know usual for uh, the whole Egyptian team and uh, this, these are uh, the legs I can see some toes sticking out over there and the sole of the feet you have the holes if you want to put him on a stand if you have a spare one so yeah um, 
not too much to talk about honestly because uh, it's a quite simple figure but you have the all the details uh, that you need in the mummy wraps and whatnot so you can't really have like anything uh, expect anything else because this is how uh, the the character basically looks in the in the movie and uh, on the pictures and whatnot so you can't really uh, complain about the simplicity of the figure because like what were you expecting <laughs> and this is how it looks so yeah a simple figure but uh, really cool at uh, the same time now, as far as the articulation on this figure goes, it's really nicely articulated as we are used to it. And you, would, uh, you uh, already saw when I was uh, showing you the, the up-close uh, shots that I was moving it around. So you can, of course, move the head. It's on a ball joint. And there is also articulation in the neck uh, area over here, which is kind of harder to move, actually, because uh, the head is the one that keeps moving but you can there we go you can see how it moves there is also a articulation point in the upper uh, body not much of a pivoting over there so mostly only to the sides now of course you can move the arms and to the side as well like really well as you can see there is a uh, joint over here in the upper arm it's kind of squeaky as you can see here um, and of course we have a double joint over here in the elbow area you can bend it quite nicely and of course you can move uh, the worst up and down and uh, twist it and turn it There is also one joint over here, so one upper in the upper body, body and over uh, one here in the lower uh, uh, area as well. And again, it only uh, goes to the side, so no pivoting over there. It's really interesting. Usually, they only uh, have one uh, one uh, uh, body um, joint. But uh, this on this figure they included two, so that's really nice. Um, you can of course move uh, the legs to the side too, as really well, like he's doing a <laughs> karate um, kick. And uh, you can also bend the knee; it goes about this far. And of course you can move the feet as well up and down and to the sides as well uh, they kind of have a little bit of pivot but not a lot it's pretty limited I'm guessing it's because the mommy wraps are in now, the way let me just show you guys how you can easily exchange the parts so the head you can just simply pull off like that and grab your other head that you want to um, put on and you just push it on the joint and there we go so he already has awakened as you can see and of course the hand too so you just pull it off easily and you just push on the other hand and there we go so it's quite easily easily uh, exchangeable and uh, it looks pretty cool so you can also there you go hang one of these wrappings like that and uh, imagine that the wind is blowing that or something so um, yeah pretty uh, cool figure if you ask me so that's about it for uh, this review of the NECA Toys Universal Monsters, the mummy colored version <laughs> figure. And if you like my review, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and tell me down below in the comments what do you think of this figurine. And if you prefer this um, colored version uh, uh, or do you prefer the black and white version, again, when you look at the colors, there's not like a huge difference, but you know, there's still... 
something and if you are grabbing uh, them both or uh, which one uh, do you uh, choose and uh, you know you can also tell me if you are looking forward to more uh, of these figures uh, from this collection I am uh, eagerly waiting for uh, for Dracula uh, hopefully joining the crew soon but we'll see and you can also go ahead and like my Facebook page the link will appear on the screen uh, somewhere uh, where I uh, always post uh, my new videos and you get notifications over there whenever I upload something you can also comment over there and uh, yeah, just overall, if you are interested in my uh, work, you can go ahead and like it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more uh, action figure or other kind of toy and door reviews on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!